The Sims is trendy. So many people are talking about what's going on and the microtransactions are real. What is up guys? My name is Simeon. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do all kind of videos, CC reviews, pack reviews, mod reviews, etc. And obviously today we're going to be diving into some Sim news. We're just going to jump right in. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much. We are on the road to 40k subscribers. Just remember, if you did learn something new, please leave a thumbs up because it truly does help out my channel. Y'all, The Sims done dropped some Project Renee BS. Now, I want to get into this real quick. First and foremost, this is Project Renee. Now, before y'all say anything, I want y'all to understand that Project Renee is not The Sims 5. I know a lot of people have been wanting to say The Sims 5, and that is, it's not The Sims 5. Project Renee is literally Project Renee. They don't even have a name for it yet because it literally has not dropped. If you guys aren't up to date on Sim news, The Sims literally dropped so much stuff over the past couple of weeks where they're saying that they are now extending the life of The Sims 4. With that being said, they did end up mentioning what was Project Renee going to be about, and they did go ahead and mention play the sims lab now if they did this with the sims lab it's going to be more of testing other games which is what we can expect to see in the future of what they plan to do as far as releasing different kinds of games and franchises etc all right i'm back yes my baby started crying so i had to put the carrier on on a scale one to ten i'm gonna rate it a solid zero what the hell is this looks this looks horrible it looks terrible i'm gonna be completely honest like literally the clothes look a little bit better than what we have in create a sim as far as like the sims 4 like the clothes if we take a look at what the characters look like i truly hope they're going to change that because this looks like the line of life by you and if you don't remember life by you life by you actually got slandered now a lot of people are comparing this to sims mobile and i completely agree this definitely looks like on the lines of sim mobile but again project renee is its own entity now project renee was actually introduced a while ago by lindsay pearson who ended up mentioning that they are going to be expanding on the sims franchise now project renee is going to be its own entity and this looks this is what we originally got as far as the rendering process now this definitely is giving me maybe you and your friends can meet up at a certain spot and all talk and play like with your sims and maybe the voices of the sims is your gonna be your voice in real life this however right here is giving me microtransaction for sure there's even more going on with the interface audio like there's options here it's just ooh, this is getting very very scary y'all this is definitely looking like now they do say this is alpha so the camera is there's shadows you can just so they're all so they are you know trying to get a little bit more technical when it comes down to more stuff but guys but Y'all, the tea is piping. They even have a play cafe shift. Tap customers to take their order, brew and pour coffee, or make an espresso if the order requires it. Pick up the correct order from the kiosk and deliver it. Don't make the customer wait too long. Now, it sounds like a game, but the bottom right here, it's definitely giving me mobile slash we are going to microtransaction as much as possible. And what makes me feel like we're going to get microtransaction is this button right over here. What is this? That sounds like money. And just in general, the way the world looks. Now, this is definitely giving me mobile vibes. And I, do, and I do think this is supposed to be an upgraded version of The Sims Mobile, if you ask me. You guys let me know down below in the comments how y'all feel about that. Because again, this also has to do with to-dos. Maybe this is going to be a mobile version of online. I don't necessarily think this is going to be what Project Renee is supposed to be. Side by side, looking at this versus looking at what we got in the Behind the Sims Summit, it's two totally different things. So that's why I genuinely think that it's going to be two different games. Now, they did end up mentioning that they are no longer going to be doing a PS5 for Project Renee. So that does leave everybody to wonder, is it going to be just on mobile or PC? Now they didn't now they didn't end up mentioning that they were gonna do cross compatibility, whether that is with your PC or your phone. I'm not too sure about console because again they did say that they're no longer going to be doing it on PS5. Now, as of right now, you are able to sign up for playtesting. So maybe those leaks got through from a playtester, but a lot of people aren't sure. Now, a lot of people have been talking about what is going to go on with Project Renee because again, since they have announced that the Sims has many more years to come, now Project Renee has a lot of controversy. And of course, we did have some group grant who ended up leaving, so they were out of a producer, a designer, etc when it comes down to Project Renee. But with all the drama coming with Project Renee, they did end up finding a senior game designer for exactly this specific role. And they now have a project designer. So again, Project Renee is not going anywhere. And from the looks of the leaks, it looks like they are working on it. But to be honest, I don't think they're working on it very hard because if I'm being honest, this looks completely different from what they have given us as far as the prototype scenes versus what we're seeing in these leaks. These leaks are not matching up to exactly what we have gotten in the past. And maybe that's why they have actually spread Spread out the Behind the Sims Summit, but again, they said that we're going to be getting one at the beginning of the 2025. So again, 
I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on what you guys think about that. We do know for sure that Project Renee will be coexisting with Sims, growing over time, and be free to download. A lot of people do feel like these leaks specifically look like cash, and a lot of Simmers feel that this is exactly what they're trying to do, especially ever since they introduced Kit. Now, a lot of Simmers were curious when Kits came around because they thought that they were trying to implement the whole microtransaction process with Kits in The Sims 4 and introduce it slowly so that when Project Renee releases, it's not nothing new. Now, it does say specifically in The Sims Lab that our Sims franchise of games today and into the future will deliver on the mini gameplay and storytelling styles for the growing number of you, our Simmers around the world, and we're excited for you to see what we've been working on. Creating this vision involves innovating across multiple products to deliver some new experiences. So they're literally saying that it's going to be some something brand new. Project Renee, I want you guys to be specific when it says continuing continuing its development alongside other exciting new projects within the Sims franchise. Project Renee is focused on building ways for friends to meet, connect, and share while playing together in an all new world. Now this looks exactly like a lot of the prototype. There will be a small invite only playtest for Renee this fall, giving an early look at multiplayer experience. Now again, we are headed into fall, so could the multiplayer experience actually leak with some of the players who were introduced to this? I think so. I think this came from exactly, I think this came from a lot of the playtesters I think this leak came from playtesters. Now, is this good? Absolutely not. It's definitely giving Sims Mobile, but they did say that this was going to be along the lines of community-based. So again, it's going to be online. And they literally mentioned this late in the, in the investor day where they mentioned that they were going to be working on multiple Sim projects and not just this, and not just Project Renee or The Sims 4. And we are gonna get into a little bit of Simmer's tweets and concerns, which is my favorite part of the segment. Starting off, someone said, why do they look like clay figures? The Sims 3 skin faces even look better than this. Again, this is very early stages. Maybe I'm hoping this is very early stages, but what, from what it looks like, this looks horrible. I mean, it just the detail looks yikes, and it's just giving a little bit of Life by You, which actually, now if y'all aren't familiar with Life by You, a lot of people were disappointed in the Life by You's creative sims because of the lack of quality. Again, we're in 2024, so there should be no reason anything is looking like this. But again, this could be an early, very early render. Someone said it looks like a design for a phone game, which I completely agree. Someone else said 10 years, and this is what's next. Bring on Enzoi. And if you guys aren't familiar with Enzoi, it's an upcoming life simulation game that literally has all of not only simmers, but just a simulation game, just a simulation gamers talking a lot. A lot of people are wondering what's going to be going on with that and they're excited to see what's what the plan is for Enzoi. So in finishing off they said they should have just stopped at the Sims Mobile and someone said literally warned you guys about this years ago I told you to stop putting up with EA's nonsense I got called negative. Anyways, hope you're happy with The Sims future. And last but not least, someone said, this looks more like a successor to The Sims Mobile than The Sims 4. Also, I have a gut feeling that they're going to sell in-game currency for real money. Looks like Paralyzed is gonna be the series' spiritual successor. It's an upcoming simulation game that has a lot of Simmers and The Sims gamer community talking. So again, with all that being said, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions when it comes down to not only these leaks, but do you guys feel that the Project Renee is going to be, Project Renee is going to be a flop, or do you guys even think this is Project Renee? Me personally, I do not think this is Project Renee. I think that it's going to be its own entity. I definitely think that this leak has to do with The Sims Lab, and I think The Sims Lab is not only testing Project Renee, but other games as well. Again, they said they have many more things to come, especially in that Investors Day panel. I highly advise you guys to watch that panel because it was very informative, and not only informative, you guys can go onto The Sims Twitter and see all the things that they have tweeted about recently about what's going to be happening in the future of The Sims. Again, The Sims has many more years to come and not just The Sims 4, but other projects as well. So let me know down below in the comments how y'all feel about that. And we are on the road to 40k. If you guys did enjoy this video or learn something new, please give me a thumbs up because it truly does help out my channel. And whether you share my videos, you like my videos, you comment on my videos, or you're a silent viewer, at the end of the day, you still showed me some love. And for that, I thank you. With that all being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.